Sterling has come under pressure once again to start October, leading to a series of technical tests in key pound forex pairs. Uh, over the weekend, UK Prime Minister Theresa May uh, and finally set a date for the uh, triggering of Article, Article 50, which would begin the formal Brexit process. She said that will be triggered by the end of March 2017 or within six months from now. Therefore, this has uh, sparked another wave of, cons of uh, selling against pressure against the, uh, the pound today as, uh, as people start to try and uh, think about what impact that could have on the UK. Interestingly enough, while the street's been negative about the impact of Brexit on the UK, the data is saying otherwise. The UK manufacturing PMI came out this morning. The street had expected a decline from about 53 down to about 52 and said it popped up to about 55. So the UK economy is doing a lot better than the street's been giving it credit for. The UK economy has been doing a lot better despite the uh, the risk of uh, perceived risk of what might happen with Brexit, the uh, the reality has been a lot better than what the street's anticipating, and the street continues to be wrong about this. But at the same time, we have to recognize that even though there's the, the, there's, the street continues to make mistakes surrounding the impact of, of Brexit and, and the pound, that uh, that still we have to go with what the market's telling us as traders and, and, and read, that, read those signals as well. So looking here, we're going to start off with cable. And uh, what we're seeing here is a potential triple bottom forming. Uh, it's dropped back into the 128 to 128.80 range. This is similar to a couple of previous lows. So we're at a key point here. Either we're going to get a triple bottom or a major breakdown from a channel. Uh, the, the breakdown point is about 128. And if we start to see that get taken out, this could go significantly lower. Uh, the measured move from this wide channel is substantially lower because it's about $0.07. Cents. It's a fairly wide channel. That put puts you into the low 120s. So Probably we'd be looking at at least initial support of a possibility around the 125 round number. The uh, the RSI is suggesting that downward pressure here is continuing to accelerate. If we do get a bounce, initial resistance back up around the 130 level. The uh, next one I will look at is the pound relative to the yen. The, this one has been uh, bottoming out, and, and as we can see, is not quite as close to a breakdown as it is in, in the case of cable. It's still hanging up around 130 rather than down around 128, where these other lows are. It still looks like we're getting a triple bottom forming in the pound against the yen, and we're also seeing RSI holding stable uh, as well. So, uh, so far, that this has been holding. Euro pound is the uh, the final one we'll take a look at here, and uh, this one's really interesting because it's trying to break out today. We've had a breakout over this uh, 87.25. We've traded up as high as 87.40, and we're just kind of sitting holding this 87.25 as new support. If this holds and we continue to advance, you'd be breaking out from a channel, signaling the start of a new uptrend, and this measures up from uh, from this 83 to 87 is about four cents, would measure up to about 91. So you could see this 89 or 90. Uh, in time if this if this breakout holds if it doesn't you've got a double top and a pretty substantial double top in place and this could come back first support around 86 and this 200 day moving average around 8530 so this also is at a key turning point today in this case we have upward momentum has broken out of a downtrend rsi continuing to work higher but it's also getting close to overbought so you may see a trading reversal or correction at some point. The key is that between all the data coming out this week and also all of the uh, the increased speculation surrounding Brexit now that uh, there more UK is for, uh, starting to uh, more clearly move towards the uh, the beginning of a uh, of a formal exit that uh, we could see a lot of uh, continued trading action in UK markets.